Hello again. Uh, in this video, I'm creating a mock-up of what would be a Game Boy game. So I'm using the Game Boy palette, using all those four colors. I think they look fairly saturated right now. I don't remember the Game Boy screen being so saturated, but then again, I never had one. I only remember from friends playing. There's a lot of reference online, and I did get this palette off of an image online. So the idea is to make a top-down game uh, mock-up, almost like, uh, you know, a, a, a Pokemon or a, a, a Zelda-type game. Basically a top-down adventure with the theme of Vikings. And I just thought of that during the stream. I didn't really think. But then some people are starting making the joke about like calling this Pokemon uh, Valhalla, a bit like the joke on the new Assassin's Creed. So I thought that was cool. So I did a sketch of the basic uh, house uh, using the grid as a scale reference. I'm not really worried about the grid because I'm not really following the the rules of the Pokemon, uh, not the Pokemon, sorry, the Game Boy uh, specifications, the hardware specifications of the, of the Game Boy. But I do want it to have this sort of likeness, this um, that you look at it and you feel like it's correct. So I, I did the poles on the sides and I tried to give it a little bit of texture to make it look like there would, especially on the left one. And then I duplicated it to the back so that we have similar... Uh, beams going across the edges of the roof and I tried again keeping that within sort of the 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 grid and I'm just creating one of those I don't know what they're called but they're basically pieces of wood that sit on the roof just to keep the roof down just to hold down the, the thatched roof and the door that I made here I didn't really want to make anything big because I wanted to have room for the walls to have that sort of detail there the the diagonal uh, planks but by adding the door that size, you kind of define the scale of your character. I know that it's not really true in video games, especially back from this era where the houses on the outside are extremely tiny. And once you walk in, they, they're huge. But I didn't really want to have like a huge, huge difference. So here I'm mocking up a uh, Viking longboat just by having just by having it sit on the water, have that reflection there and see if I can figure it out in terms of perspective. Now the tiles that I'm going to use for the terrain, there's not loads of them, but I, I as soon as I create something uh, that needs to be framed by the terrain, I go in and create the tile for that. So for example, I'm here making a bridge to go across that riverbed, and I kind of feel like I should add the terrain uh, of the sides of the river, like the banks of the river, so that it looks like... So, so that it reads as a, as a river. So I start making a couple of tiles. I duplicate, and once I have something I like, I sort of fine tune that one. And it's very usual that I just use one tile, one tile for one use. So there's not gonna be a lot of variation here just because, again, this was a stream and it's more about a mock-up rather than actually creating final art. And so here I'm figuring out whether or not I like this, and then I go in and add the brightest tone just to create that gloss which doesn't really work here. I think that gloss could probably be used in a water tile because water can be glossy from, well, is glossy, but can be more visibly glossy from certain angles. And so I end up creating this tile, including the reflection on the tile underneath it. And I kind of feel that that works well, that uh, does have that sort of terrain look to me. It kind of feels already like a Game Boy game. So now I'm uh, figuring out ways to increase the quality of the assets in the scene. So I add a shadow to the house. I don't remember if I add the shadow to the right house, it's the house on the right. So I create this basic path tile, which is basically uh, cobblestone, but it's just stones that are uh, next to each other in kind of a, a random pattern, which the randomness of the pattern kind of disappears once you start creating a path to use that. So it, it's random up to a certain point, but within that tile, I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, and sadly, I had to give it a shadow because I wanted the stones to sort of pop up from the ground. And that just made the, the, the stones really thick because there's only so much I can do with the color of the shadow. So if I wanted to make them look thinner, I would have to have a lighter shadow. But unfortunately, I can't do that because I'm limited, for four, uh, limited by the four colors. Here I'm adding some very Pokemon-esque um, grass tiles, just three blades or two blades with different heights, uh, just to suggest that there's something there. And here I'm going to go into this kind of isolation mode because I just really want to work on the boat. And I'm taking, again, the grid as my reference for, sky, uh, for size and scale and position. And I don't really know if this would be a problem 
using the Game Boy for this. I don't know the technical limitations when it comes to the amount of tiles that you can use. Uh, so I'm guessing that by replicating some of these tiles, I would probably be able to put on a, a boat like that. Just not really sure. So I try to keep things within the 8x8 eight eight, uh, tiles, which I'm not even sure that that's the, the size. It makes sense to that it is. but So here I'm creating some shields to put on the sides, and I'm figuring out patterns. And I'm actually looking at a, an, a reference on the internet of what the shields could look like. So I just make five of those, hang them on the side, and I rebuild the sail. I don't want to have the sail uh, sort of... Um, uh, retracted. I want it to be on, on the boat and like in full view because it's cooler that way. It looks, it looks more like a proper Viking boat. And I have a little bit of trouble because of the, of the angle that I chose because this is a side view drawn in top down. But then I eventually remember that if I can just sort of get that uh, curve to be excessive or to be like a big curve, then I can just kind of work it. So to do the reflection, I copy the boat, I flip it upside down and I scale it vertically a little bit. And by doing that, I can kind of simulate the reflection, but then I also offset some of the pixels to the side and cut it in. And probably in the real thing, in the real Game Boy, I would probably just go in and use the same reflections as I used for the for the side of the terrain to use on the, uh, I would just use that on a boat as well and kind of call it a day. Here I'm creating a barrel, which takes more than one tile. And I was, I think I, I, did, uh, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to do it. And actually, it looked exactly like I wanted straight away. And here I'm creating our character, of course. I don't know what, what he's called, but, you know, something pretty, uh, so like standard. So let's just give him like a really standard crappy name. I have no idea. Uh, but, you know, one of those uh, preconcepted names that you hear on you know like every every russian guy is called dimitri like every viking is probably going to be called olaf or whatever uh and here i'm making the axe um just as like an item that the character has to pick up but it's pretty much just uh to add more stuff i also add a couple of flower tiles just for variety as well to create this sort of and it's funny how just adding a couple little tiles scattered around the ground just makes it way more interesting. And here I'm pulling everything down because I thought of adding a tree line. So I just copy one of those tree stumps and I extended it up and now I'm converting that into just like a, a wall of trees where the forest begins. And the idea for that is that, you know, they've come in, they've chopped down a few trees to make the houses. But there's something to explore. There's a world to explore. And it would be interesting to be able to sort of visit that and just go up that pathway and kind of have that be the, the tree. So I try to do like a big pine branch right there and it doesn't, doesn't work. So I just make these more bland, flat looking ones. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. So take care and see you next time.